Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy King Bean and welcome back to another show, another video, and a brand new episode. And of course, you know you're now rocking with the best word up. Shout out to everybody who came by watch my previous video. If you didn't, here's the link in the description. Go click on it, go check it out. Now, shout out, I want to first send a shout out and say thank you to all the new subscribers who sub to the channel. I really appreciate it. Sorry I haven't got a chance to get down there and uh and thank you personally, but uh, thank you right now for doing all that. My life's been kind of crazy, kind of hectic. If you follow my channel, if you go check out some of the older videos, you see what I've been going through. Uh, but I really am overwhelmed by the, the love and the, the support from you guys. And I appreciate all you guys' comments. I did read them. I did read them. And I'm glad if you disagree with me, that's fine. And I'm glad it wasn't no arguments or nothing like that. I'm glad, you know, you just had constru constructive criticism or... Or if you like the video that you that you did like the video, I really appreciate that too as well. And shout out to Pure Reaper for giving me a shout out on his channel. Yo, go check out Pure Reaper. Like I said, he does some great Dragon Ball Z. Um, um, he edits the videos with Dragon Ball Z. He does a really good job. Really good job. But anyway, man, this is my fourth time recording this video tonight. Word up, man. It's crazy. I had another idea what I wanted to go with, but I didn't like it, so I kept erasing it. And I was just recording this video, and I just got a, a t an email from YouTube. I got a copyright claim on a video on one of my videos with NBA 2K17. So that's what I'm telling you is 2K17. There's no music or anything in the video except for me talking, barely talking at that. It was a live stream. So I got man, this YouTube thing is crazy. But anyway. I, if I sat down and and I ate and I was uh, watching one of the Young Turk videos on YouTube, I know probably been tricking somebody already right now. I'm, I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, so I don't really care. I'm a free agent. I'm an independent guy, and that's how you should be. They make them fight for your votes, man. And I was sitting there watching one of the videos, and I started thinking. I said it was kind of, I started thinking because that's a dangerous thing for me to do anyway. So I was sitting and thinking, he was talking about something about sheep, right? How people are sheep. And I think that's how the elite see us. But that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day there. But they was asking some of the people in the poll why they why they made this vote, why they do do that. And basically, they were willfully ignorant. They didn't want to know the truth about the politician that they voted for they didn't care they wanted to be willfully ignorant as long as their their agenda or what they believe in is being led by the right guy and then i started i rented uh far cry 5 you know you're not seeing the footage in here i rented far cry 5 glad i didn't buy it not real big fan it might it might it might be one of those games where it gets better but right now it's okay i guess but anyway, getting the Far Cry 5, they have, like in most of all Far Cry games, they always have this cult leader. You know what I'm saying? And especially this cult leader, this charismatic guy. And people, they're following him. And they don't really, I mean, they, they're buying into the propaganda that he spews and they're following this guy. And you're like, well, why are they following this guy and he's leading them down the wrong path? You don't see it. You don't understand it. So I started thinking about it. I said, oh, you know what that sounds like? Sound like one of those things we have in our meetings where we're talking about money gram when people wire money at my job. And uh, in there it says you cannot be willfully ignorant. That's one of the tenets in there. You can still go to jail for trying to be willfully ignorant. If somebody's in front of you trying to send money, you know it's from an illegal, uh, illegal point of view. And you can say, well, la, 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 I'm walking in the back, la, 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 la. And you still do the contract or still do it, send the money. You've been willfully ignorant and you can't be prosecuted in the court of law for that. So, I went and looked up the word, well, we looked up the definition of willfully ignorant. And I think this so much applies to the gaming community. And, and I'm pointing out the Xbox community, and I know some of y'all going to hate me for saying this. I don't know what the PlayStation community is going on. Because, to be honest, they're boring. <laughs> and they don't, I don't know. Only one I know over there that's crazy is JTEC TV. And I definitely don't watch this stuff, man. I caught him on the weapon world before, but I don't watch this stuff. Tried watching one of his uh, live streams. Yeah, one for like 12 hours and he fell asleep on it. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. But anyway, willful ignorance. 
what that definition is it's the state and practice of ignoring any sensory input or or appears to contradict one's inner model of reality at heart it is most certainly driven by the confirmation bias i didn't read that very well <laughs> but that's okay because my eyesight is not as great anymore man but basically it's built in confirmation bias that you're going to believe what you want to believe when you want to believe it no matter what anybody tells you they can sit there and tell you that there's a hole in the in the middle of the road and don't walk in there but you don't care there's a road there because you can believe that there's a road you're going to walk into it i'm going to support analogy but where i'm going with this is with the xbox community with the loud everybody like you say the loud minority they're the one that's doing the biggest saber rattling. The biggest leader of the propaganda train is my man Crap Gamer. Yeah, the Crap Gamer. This guy, he's my favorite YouTuber. He is my favorite YouTuber. You know why? Because this guy's consistent, man. He is consistent and he's always on his grind. So I'm never going to knock his hustle. That dude will put up four, five, six videos a day. That's not an exaggeration. That is for real. If you're a content creator, you know that it takes time to create a video. Not only create a video, have something to talk about, and cut another video, edit it, even though he does very little edits, and then you upload it. And then you got the process. I'm sorry, you prep the process the video, then you upload it. Once you upload it to YouTube, and depending on the speed how YouTube's working, the speed of YouTube, it might not it may take a while for you to get up, but hey man, he gets them up, man. Goes read all these articles on Reddit, all these different forums. And, and you know he really picks out the ones cherry picks the ones that best uh, suit whatever argument he wants to have he does that leave out important segments of the article if you don't read it or read it in context if it's not just pro xbox but he puts it up there he puts his spin on it damage controls damage controls now before then he used to he used to do reviews on games he's never played got called out for it and got caught so now he's taking them off he's done that now his whole thing is clickbait all his most of his videos now are clickbaits but he's still growing he's still growing i mean he tried he just left bgst he, he left there i guess he's gotten big enough now him and mooch and crap in the morning has gotten big enough now they don't need zaire anymore zaire over at bgst kind of got off the off the boat of damage control he even said it himself because Microsoft's not giving the players what they want. They want better games. They want more mature games. They want games to really justify them spending all this money in this Xbox. But crap is still shoveling the crap, so to speak. So they're going their separation. There was no hard feelings there between that group. But the fan base of his. And people, you can ignore it and say that he doesn't have any kind of influence. He does because he keeps gaining new people who follow him new people who subscribe to him now i'm not subscribed to him but i watch the channel every once in a while because i like hearing the bs that he likes to put out there he spends everything doesn't matter what it is he spends it so people i think that are following him and still in that group that keeps following him they are willfully ignorant they're being willfully ignorant the reason why they're being willfully ignorant because they want to have they want to feel justified in in the purchase of their console. They spent a lot of money for it. They believed in Microsoft. Hell, I believed in Microsoft. I was right there in the 360. The 360 era was fantastic. I mean, Microsoft did a lot of good things for gaming. They really did. Innovated the gaming scene with Xbox Live. And adding Netflix and all this stuff to it. Hard drives into your consoles. No more memory cards. Think about that. First, I think it was the first one, the HDMI, where you first played your high-definition games on the console. Now, listen, PC guys. Listen, y'all been way ahead of us. Look, we're in the middle bus. We ain't on the short bus or the last bus. We're on the middle bus. I'm leaving PC. PC guys, I know y'all already had this stuff, man. Y'all way ahead of the curve. Don't get me wrong, man. Y'all y'all on a whole nother level, man. I'm not even trying to get with that. But Microsoft did a lot of good things for the gaming industry. Now, I hate their... Uh, accessories because uh, i keep breaking it got during controllers and that's not me throwing them anything they just keep breaking and dealt with the red ring of death too that was terrible 
But Microsoft, Microsoft done a lot of good things to change the games, it's change the gaming industry. They, they are leading innovators. They're leading right now as games for services, and that's where we're going. Game is going to be Netflix, and probably all are going to be on one console. I think that's where they really want to go anyway. They don't want to make no more consoles, and probably no more games. They want games to be everywhere. Phil Spencer said that. He don't think there should be any barriers in any games. So I guess they're going to be leading the industry in that, trying to collect that money that way. Because gaming is expensive. But in the meantime, right now, you spent, most people, some people went out and got them an Xbox One X. I didn't get one. As I stated before in my previous video, it's, it's probably been about a year since I turned on my Xbox. And I got the OG Xbox. The OG Xbox One with the Kinect and all that crap. I said Microsoft need to give me a reason to play this game. Give me a reason to turn on my console. Give me a reason to play it. Give me a Halo. Give me a, a Gears of War. I know you said they're already out there. But no, Gears of War 4, I really wasn't hyped for it that much to get it. So I didn't get it. The new Halo, I wasn't that hyped for. Heck, y'all people said that it wasn't that good because it wasn't playing with Master Chief. I mean, I don't know. They said the game was pretty good. The multiplayer is pretty good, I guess. I don't know. With the Xbox One X, they know the bells and whistles there. The visuals look great. I had a discussion with a guy. He was talking about the visuals. He said, when you get one, come back to me. Come and talk. I get it. The visuals, they make it look great. But visuals are only going to carry you so far. It's going to be so far. I mean, the game still had to be good. These games, I want Microsoft personally, personally, really, I want Microsoft to be the definition of gaming. You know what I'm saying? I, love, I, I like Sony. I'm enjoying my Sony PlayStation. I am a free agent. I always say I'm a free agent when it comes to games because these games service me. I don't work for Microsoft. I don't work for Sony. I pay my money for it. I want to play some killer games. That's what I come to play for. That's what I want to play. That's what I want to play in these games. You most of the people who are supporting Xbox in the community, they should want the same thing. So I'm not understanding why you don't want the same thing. Why would people? Why is it not okay to say, "Hey, this they could do better than this"? Yet instead, we still, you know, do and hope and hope that it be well. Now I don't know in the end. I don't know if Crap Game is getting some kind of back end deal. From Microsoft, he could get free Xbox Live or something. That's why he keeps spewing this stuff, or maybe they send him stuff. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. He doesn't divulge that information. He would never talk about it anyway. Hell, he won't debate against. I don't even say debate. He don't even defend himself when people are dissing him. All he does is keep making these videos. So, in that sense, I can, I can understand that. He's doing his hustle. This is a job. When he said he had a job, I don't believe that crap because it takes too long to upload these videos, the process them, all that. You talking about you doing? You got a job. You ain't got no job not dropping six videos a day. This is your job. This is where you getting paid at. And I ain't not gonna hustle for that. But he spews this and spews all this propaganda, and people are willfully just listening to it. I heard on one of the podcasts before I was listening. To, uh, hell, I said I think it's a multiplayer podcast. Hosted by Zaire. I was listening to him. And one of the guys. Guys was a smart dude. I ain't gonna front. I don't, I don't know the guy's name that was talking. But he was talking about how Microsoft. Again when I got stuff. When you, they were innovative. And how Sony is copying them. But guess what man. Every successful company copies another company. Don't believe me. I am an Apple owner. I own an iPhone. Okay. I own an iPhone 8 plus S. Whatever it is. I own that. The only reason I kept that. Because I'm in their ecosystem. I'm just going to bring up a perfect example. Samsung makes better phones. Samsung, a couple of years ago, brought out the wireless charging. Now, most Apple users were bragging about wireless charging now. Think about that for a second. Apple used to be the innovators when it came to the cell phone. It was the first one to get the smartphone. I mean, Apple was the first one to put out the smartphone, really, outside of BlackBerry, that added where you carry your music and shoot videos and all this other crap. But Samsung has caught them and passed them, has surpassed them. Samsung got so many different things on their phones that Apple is now either getting or will get in the new phones. So you can't rest on your laws. Like I said, Microsoft was the first and real one that was successful of doing the Xbox Live stuff and the Netflix stuff and games for gold and all that. But guess what? PlayStation is catching up to them and passing them. They're doing a better service. They're doing a better service. 
And it's nothing wrong to ask for your favorite platform to do better. It's nothing wrong with that. Just like I am a huge Jacksonville Jaguar fan, like I said before, we wanted the team to get better. They made it to the FC Championship. Heartbreak, and I was heartbroken. It was up by 10 with 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and they lost that game. But we wanted them to do better so we could show up to the stadium and show off our side and we could run around and say, Duval! I know that's pretty loud, but that's that's the worst work at Chad. You feel me? But being a fan of something, of any team or anybody, does not mean you have to get away logic. I know the definition of fanatic, you know, being a fan is being a fanatic where no logic takes place. But when your money's involved, you need to be smart about that. You need to be smart about where you spend your bucks. I want everybody who's playing video games to enjoy playing their video games. We sit up here and we talk about video games. And even I, I'm no different than everybody else and we're complaining about them. This is supposed to be a fun hobby that, that we all partake in, that we all enjoy, laugh and joke and all that. We argue about sales numbers. We argue about... You know, graphic fidelity, which I guess I can understand that. But they, they, we argue about the minute things. It's not important. But the thing is, is the game fun? Is it bringing you enjoyment? Do you feel good about the purchase that you have? But when you have people like Crap Gamer, who may not be hurting for money, who may not be hurting like some kid, who may not have to beg his parents. I don't think he has to beg his parents. I hope not. Or beg his parents or save up two or three months just to buy one game. Or two and three, four months just to buy a, a console. And it's not fulfilling you. You're not having fun with it. It's sitting there collecting dust. Fortunately for me, I had disposable income. It can collect dust. I won't I won't feel it. But I'm thinking about somebody else. So they come into YouTube, they're searching for answers, they're searching for reasons why I should play this console, why should I play this game? And they come across that and he's lying to them. I say he's to me, honest to God, he's no better. He's no better than those TV evangelists from the 1980s. I know y'all probably don't remember Tammy Faye Baker and Jim Baker. Go look him up. At least it's that he's not begging for money. That's somebody else. That's the only difference. But he's preaching this, 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 this propaganda. He he wants to be, he wants to be Howard Stern. Now I can tell you like this. Moose can be Howard Stern because that dude got the chops. I can't front on Moose. I don't like Moose, but Moose, I can't front on him. That dude got some talent. That dude got the voice for radio. He's got a voice for a podcast. That dude that dude is good. I can't front on that dude. That dude cadence and the way he comes up with his arguments and his facts, loosely led facts, he's really good. I can't front on that. But crap is more to me like Sean Hannity. He's the Sean Hannity of Fox News. You know who Fox News is. I know somebody that probably got triggered by that too. Doesn't matter. Or I can't think of anybody else on NBC or MSNBC. They suck. <laughs> I watch CNN and I watch Fox. I watch both of them because I try to get both sides of the story. At least, you know, with the least amount of bias that I can get it. You feel me? But that's what happens when you get old. But I digress. But one more to say this you don't be willfully ignorant, man. Don't be willfully ignorant. If you got another reason you just don't like PlayStation, well, don't buy PlayStation stuff. But don't sit there and say they ain't got no games. The games ain't as good. You, you, What you're really doing is missing out on something that is good. That is fun. It's almost like dealing with people and when they have that battered white syndrome, I hate using that analogy. You can tell them, hey, man, your man ain't no good. You know you have a girl, you have a friend who who's dating a bad dude, like this dude ain't no good for you. He ain't no good for you. You need to leave him. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him. He still dog you out and, and and you still stay with him. And you don't understand why. She's a very pretty girl. You with this ugly dude. Why are you still with this dude? Doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. I'm not telling you to leave Microsoft. I'm not telling you if Microsoft is your favorite console, I'm not telling you to leave them. What I am telling you to do is get up there and demand better. Don't sit there and just accept what they gave you with Sea of Thieves. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but you should have got more for that. Don't sit there and accept that garbage. You are better than that. You spend your money on that. Power to the people. Power to the players. You are the consumer. So don't be willfully ignorant and follow these people. Get get your news sources from other people too. Because that's what I do. 
I just don't watch one YouTube channel. I watch about 10, 12. Maybe that's too many. Maybe that's too many. But I'd rather be knowledgeable of what I'm going to get into before I get into it than to get in there and like, oh, damn, what did I do? What did I do? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, thanks to everybody who uh, subscribed to the channel. I, I, I didn't expect it to be 97. Wow, it's grown. I know a lot of people say that ain't a lot, but, hey, I can't believe it. That is unbelievable. I'm so thankful to you guys. I really appreciate you guys, uh, uh, you know, support me. I really appreciate that. Um, Monday will be another podcast. Will be another podcast. I don't know what I'm talking about yet, but I'm working on the research now. Well, not tonight. I work on it this weekend. And uh, it's been great. I said these past couple of weeks have been great. I can't front on you. I, like I said, you guys are great. Shout out to my man, Work Birdie. Shout out to Miss K. Shout out to my man, Smasher. I ain't forget about you, homie. But uh, shout out to Pew Reaper, too. And shout out to all you people again, once again, man. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Thanks thanks a lot. If you stayed here this long, thanks a lot for listening to me ramble on. And before I got out of here, I want to leave you a quote from my man, Plato. And this is about willful ignorance. He said, we can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when a man is afraid of the light. Now think about that for a second. You know, when you're a child, when you're a child, we understand you're going to be afraid of stuff. But some of y'all are growing up into young men. And you got to be able to stand on your own too. You don't have to listen to everybody else. As the old saying say, do your own research. Find out for yourself. Don't let nobody control your pockets and make you spend money that you don't want to spend. And don't believe in something that you don't believe in. Just to get along with everybody else. Hey. That's all I can say to you. Well anyway guys. It's your boy King Bean. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button too as well. Share it with your friends. Your mom. Your grandmoms. Your pops. Your grandpops. Your son. Your daughter. Whoever you got. So anyway I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you enjoy yourself. And it's your boy King Bean. I'll holler at you dudes later man. One love. Peace.